Hey everyone, welcome back to another plan with me. I am planning for last week, which was December 2nd through the 8th, the first full week of December and my birthday week. My birthday is December 8th. I turned 25, which oh, feels weird, but we're here. We did it. We're moving on. I am using the Grinch Mist Kit from Scribble Prince Co. I, oh. so <laughs> I actually had the idea for a Grinch related kit way back when, when SPC, when Andrea was asking for like ideas for Christmas kits and I was like, we should do a Grinch inspired kit and it totally turned into a me inspired kit. I definitely relate to the Grinch. The Grinch doesn't hate Christmas. I know not many people get that. The Grinch doesn't hate Christmas. He hates who's. And I feel that on a very personal level. I love me some Christmas. I just hate everything else. So <laughs> I thought this kit was perfect for my birthday week, especially because the fashion girl looks pretty much like me. So I love it. All my friends used it for my birthday week, which I much appreciate. I love all of their spreads. And so I too used it. Um, as you can see, I used the family box on Sunday. I do my entire spread and then I realize once I get to like the bottom of the base that I thought my birthday was Saturday. My birthday Sunday and I thought this entire time it was Saturday so I have to use some undo and fix the two boxes. It wasn't that hard of a fix uh, thankfully because of undo but Saturday and Sunday's full boxes do feel a little bit thicker than the rest because I just put them on top of the bougie boxes that were already there because taking up a bougie box with or without undo is kind of a pain so I went without that. I also did use the Cindy Lou Who girl with the blonde hair on Friday. I thought she was super cute. This kit had a lot of really great box options. This is going to end up happening to me. I can feel it within these next few weeks because I'm using a lot of kits that have a lot of really great box options. So mm, extenders are going to start coming in handy. So as you can see, I am using an extender on Saturday. It will get moved to Sunday because I forgot when my birthday was. And yeah, I like the pre bougie extenders. They work best for me. The foil color I went with for this kit was silver. I did pull in some of the like first original magenta wiggle. I thought it looked really, really nice with this kit because the color matched really, really well. I want to start pulling in more wiggles if I can because like that with like a base color, i.e. rose gold, gold, silver, hollow looks really, really nice. So yeah, here I am doing the whole undo process because I messed up. Uh, yeah, undo is a lifesaver, honestly, because I tried to peel it up and it was scary and I was able to just fix it, which is nice. So this week was kind of boring up until like my actual birthday day, so I'm sorry for that. But otherwise, it was still a good week. And I also forgot halfway through picking character stickers that I kind of wanted to use the Grinch sheet from Once More With Love. So I started pulling those in later and it looks really cute as well. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Silver bougie boxes. Um, let's see what else is happening. I did my extender. I did my thumbs up because I was like, all is good that ends well. I figured it out. Look at that fashion girl. That really do look just like me. It's like kind of sad. <laughs> It's like my face and everything. So I'm using the magenta date dots on my date covers. I really like those and the way that looks. Um, I pulled in as much as I could with the magenta. I did, for some of the silver options, use this new, or the new whimsical-ish bow from SPC, which I also believe is being released this Wednesday? Today. Oh, I almost said Friday, but today, actually. So if you like some of the uh, full box overlays that I use, they're being released with SPC today. So feel free to check it out. I use the kind of like scattered ones. And then I don't think I used any of the other ones. I used the magenta and then I just use like the scattered ones and it looks really pretty. Like the whimsical bow confetti, I think. I'm not sure what she's calling it, but it looks really beautiful. I used the magenta overlay on my 15 millimeter washi. Came out perfectly, so go me. And then I used that like whimsical bow bottom washi overlay on my second bottom washi. And that also turned out really good. So like, again, go me. Very proud of myself. This kit just makes me really happy because it's just like having a birthday in December. And I also feel like if you have a birthday in February or October, at least in my eyes, it would kind of suck for spreads because like 
February to me is all Valentine's Day, and Avery's birthday is the day before Valentine's Day, so I always have to figure that out. October, I have Bennett's birthday, and I have my anniversary, so, like, it messes with my Halloween spreads, and then, of course, Christmas. Like, Christmas is so big, so having, like, a kit, like, semi-centered around myself and also kind of, like, birthday-related because the freebies had, like, birthday boxes makes me very happy, so look at all those boxes. They're so cute. I love, like, the planner theme of this. I love how, like, some of the things say ruin Christmas. If you actually, like, look at the box on Monday, it says so many good things. It's, like, solve world hunger, tell no one, wallow in self-pity, wrestle with self-loathing, self slips slowly into madness. Why is that me? <laughs> so, I don't know. I love it. I use the magenta header overlays. Like I said, I pulled in the magenta as much as I could. I used the magenta corners on my tall box. Because I use a tall box, I never use it, or I have used a tall box in my sidebar before, but I haven't used a tall box recently. So if you would like to see, um, I just kind of adjust and I don't use a second full box because it's, you know, the space of two full boxes, I think, maybe a little bit longer. So then I put in that like sidebar squared half box that it was my birthday. I used the fox and cactus girl because it's my birthday. I really like the Fox and Cactus birthday sheet because there's a lot of options, so I used that a lot this week as well. And then, of course, I just put in my work schedule, and that was pretty much it for my base. A lot of pink, but I also tried to pull in as much green as possible because I really liked the green in this kit. So, starting on the week, I'm already, like, I feel like because I talk so much and so fast, I run out of breath quickly. So I apologize for that. I also probably could drink some more water, but that's just me. So first thing that I put in was that I had a Starbucks run. If you remember last week, I couldn't remember who got me Starbucks when, but I do remember specifically this morning was when Nick and Andrea got me Starbucks. I used a new food doodle from Once More With Love. I got both of my food doodle orders in this past week and a half, I think. So I was able to incorporate those a lot and I was really happy about it. She had green and pink ones. So I used the green one with the Starbucks run script from SPC. Then I used one of those cute little squared boxes. I'm telling you, when Andrea first started, like, making these, and when I first print and cut them, I was like, this is weird. I don't know how I'm going to use this. But then I use them so much now. Every kit I've had, I've used since they've come out, I guess. So the past two, two or three, two. Um, I've used them because I really like them. So I put work in. That was, like, the majority of the day. Like I said, I work every day, so... I just needed to fill some space, so I put that in with a Once More With Love munchkin on a silhouette in the work script. It looks really, really cute. I was able to use scripts all Monday, so I was very happy about that because I don't know if you could tell, but I haven't filled out my planner since I started playing with me's. Uh, yeah, the Let It Go spread, I put two things in. Still got to fill that out. Got to fill out my Thanksgiving spread. I got to fill some stuff out. So it's nice to have scripts because then at least half of my spread is like semi filled out. So after work, uh, we went on a Target run. I'm sh did we get groceries? I don't think we got groceries at Target, but we did go on a Target run. So I put in a Coffee Monsters Co. Target sticker with a Target run script. And then I put a little, I cut the knot today, which I kind of didn't want to, but I didn't leave enough space for it. I cut that off the munchkin from Once More With Love, and I put an In My Feelings script. I was, like, kind of stressing out. I was, it wasn't about anything crazy. It was just, like, some personal stuff that I was dealing with, but I was in my feelings because I was stressing out a little bit, and I was taking that on Brian, so I felt like putting that in my planner. But then that night, we did watch some shows together. I feel like I'm stumbling over my words. I'm so sorry about that. So I wanted to use one of these really cute, like, Christmassy uh, stick with the plan. Stick with the plan or stick with the plans? Stick with the plan co? Yes. Couples. It's like a Christmas one, and it's super cute. And I put a custom with hubs script because we watch shows together. And I just really like the, I forgot I had the couple sheet from her. And I really like it. So I wanted to use that. And then on Tuesday, the first thing I put in is a dabbing munchkin because I finished restocks this day. It took me four days. It was a lot. It took a lot of time. I didn't watch anything. It was literally 10-hour days, just pure silence, just listening to silhouettes, counting. It was a lot of counting because there were so many kits, so many individual items. But I finished everything on Tuesday, so I put a dabbing munchkin because I was so happy when I was done. Like, I went home. I had a little pep in my step. I was like, this is over, and I don't think I'll ever see a restock list that long until potentially next Black Friday. So... Very happy about that. Won't have to deal with that for a good year. So very happy about that. Is that Avery? 
no, there's kids outside. And then I put in a little munchkin with the feel, the film reel to mark that I edited and uploaded because I uploaded on Wednesday, as you guys saw. And I put in an edit script in silver. Like I said, I used all silver. I apologize. I don't think you can hear the kids through my microphone, but if you can, they are outside playing and screaming. It doesn't matter. They're there. And then I put in, again, another cute little food doodle from Once More With Love. I used the chicken nuggets to mark that Emily got me Wendy's for lunch. Right? No. No. Nick and Andre brought me in Wendy Wendy's because I was done with restocks and I was so hype about it. And I feel like they were, like, semi-proud of me. So I put that in. I was like, Emily wasn't at work that day, so how did she get me Wendy's? Ugh, my brain. So anyway, I put that in. I love the little chicken nuggets. I love the food doodles best thing ever because I always eat different types of food question mark so I needed them anyway then after work I went to the playground with my kids so I put in the custom munchkin of me and two babies with a playground script to mark that we went to the playground and then I put in another little um, munchkin kind of looking sad because like I said on Monday I was like in my feelings and a little stressed it was kind of taking over a little bit more on Tuesday that night I was very very stressed I'm good now but at the time, I was a little stressed. So I put that in. That was Tuesday. I'm sorry you can keep seeing my head. I get really, really close when I put things in crooked like at least three times because I want to make sure I can finally fix it, you know? So I put that in. And then on, oh, look at that custom munchkin. I'm pretty sure they're still in the shop, the sheets of four. Like you can get me, Emily, Jessica, and Andrea, and they're super cute and I really like them. So if you want them, grab them because they're real cute. And then on Wednesday, my nose is like running but it's not so I apologize it's like allergy season right now in Austin cedar fever season so I can feel it starting on Wednesday I almost missed my alarm I was like what happened I usually wake up at like a certain time and I give myself 10 minutes to get ready which I know seems like not a lot but like it's a perfect amount of time for me to get dressed brush my teeth throw my hair up walk out the door but I woke up after like the 10 minute mark when I should be like done and ready so I almost missed my alarm I got dressed very quickly brushed my teeth probably not the best I was just like zoop, 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 get out so I did that I used a coffee monsters co emoji like hitting their alarm clock and then for the first time in almost like what six months I got to package orders and I packaged black friday orders which were kind of crazy because obviously I knew they'd be crazy because of the restocks, but they were kind of crazy. So I put in, this is when I realized I should probably start using the Grinch sticker sheet. <laughs> so I pulled it out. I used a little Max because he's super cute with the pack order script from Kinsey's Creations. You can see me here kind of figuring out what I want to do. I end up changing all of that because I was putting down stuff for Thursday. And then I realized it halfway through. I was like, wait, this isn't Thursday, this is Wednesday. So I end up moving all of this and I use the cute little squared box to mark packaging orders all day. And you'll see me fix it here in about two seconds. I'm sorry about that. I feel like just as I started this voiceover, all of these kids just came outside. It is cold outside today too, cold and rainy. So no fun, not a good experience. So anyway, I did that. I packaged orders. I was also super, super annoyed this day with Brian, <laughs> specifically. Um, he had a dentist appointment and, well, I guess more so annoyed with the dentist because the dentist was like, oh, it's only going to take 20 minutes because he just needed one last cavity filled. So we went there to let him get his cavity filled. It was right after work. It was starting to get dark. I was like, okay, cool, 20 minutes. We can go home. I'll just wait with the kids in the car. No problem. An hour later. Not even an hour. I think it was like an hour and a half later. I was so mad and it wasn't even Brian's fault it was just the dentist because he had other patients and he took Brian back so Brian like thought he was like gonna be in and out but like I don't know it's a long story I was so annoyed though like the kids were okay-ish uh Reagan was screaming the first half and I ended up getting out and just like holding her because it was nice outside and I just like walked around the car with her and then towards the end Avery was mad because she was tired so it was I was just not having a good time. I was really upset. I was angry, but I obviously couldn't do anything. I was just waiting for Brian. So I used a Fox and Cactus, like, middle finger sticker to mark that because I was just mad. I don't know. I can't really explain it. I was just mad. And then afterwards when we went home, I just kind of relaxed and, like, chilled on the couch. I didn't have anything I needed to do. So I put in, again, one of my custom munchkins. And I put in a me time script. I've never used one of the me time scripts. And I don't think relaxing classifies as me time. Maybe it does. But I put it in anyway. So there's that. 
Those kids have, you've got to be able to hear them. If you can't hear them, it's crazy because they are so loud. Anyway, moving on to Thursday. So Thursday morning, I used one of these little like space stickers. I know it's the I Need Space sheet from Once More With Love and it means something that I'm not using it for currently, but I used it to mark that me and Emily saw a meteor in the morning. We didn't think it was a meteor at the time. We were driving to work. We had just gotten Starbucks. I like was, I think I was like mid sentence and I saw this weird like green flash in the sky and she was like, oh, you saw that too? And I was like, yeah. And then we just kind of kept talking. I feel like we both collectively were just like, ah, UFO. Okay, cool. And then we just kept talking. Um, but it was definitely a meteor because I was on the Austin subreddit during lunch and someone's dash cam actually picked it up. So that was kind of cool. I don't think I've ever seen a meteor before. I have seen a shooting star before, but I've never seen a meteor. So that was kind of cool. And I wanted to mark it. So I put that in on Thursday at the beginning because it was at like 530 in the morning. And then I put the Starbucks run below it, although the Starbucks run came first, but I put it below it to make some space. Again, I used another one of the cute little uh, food doodles with the Starbucks run script. And then I put in the little Grinch sticker and a pack order script from Kinsey's Creation because I finished packaging orders that day. There was a ton of just Black Friday specific ones because there was stuff all weekend. But yeah, crazy stuff. Then I did laundry that night, so I put in a Fox and Cactus laundry girl. I used a lot of the Fox and Cactus stickers this week because they were all pink, so they matched very well. So I used that with a laundry script. If I get there, I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself this week, and I thought I was doing so good last week, so sorry, guys. Thought I was doing good, but I guess not. Anyway, did laundry. Probably should have did laundry a lot more this week because our laundry pile is piling up like it's actually getting crazy I really need to really need to work on that I should probably do that today actually so did that and then I put a little half box with a little once more with love piglet sticker because Reagan pulled up on the couch this day and it was so exciting she pulled up and stood up it was so exciting she got really excited she started laughing and then she let go and fell backwards scared both herself and Avery so now whenever Reagan tries to pull herself up Avery gets like really nervous she's like mom the baby mom the baby I'm like okay yeah but like eventually she's gonna have to learn to walk Avery so calm it down um but yeah so she started pulling herself up that day and hasn't stopped so now it's kind of funny because anytime Avery like eats a snack on the couch or anything like that you see a little head and little eyes peek up and then all of a sudden you see a little hand just kind of reaching up it's it's pretty cute so that started on Thursday oh my little baby so sweet and then on Friday I took Friday off right yes so I put in payday first and foremost get paid every Friday and then I put in a sleep in script with a Grinch sticker I did not sleep in technically I woke up at the same time I always do uh, when it's still dark outside, but I woke up with Reagan and Brian. Avery slept in until like eight because like good for her, honestly. Um, so I woke up at the same time I always do, but I put sleep in because I ended up going back and taking a nap with both Reagan and Brian during her morning nap. It was at like 10 a.m. We ended up taking like a two hour nap. It was so nice. So I put sleep in because like it was still technically the morning. So I slept in a little got more sleep than normal and then I put one of these the planner shop carts with a bow in it to mark that we went to Costco we got lunch there I really enjoy Costco's lunch it's really cheap and their pizza and their like turkey sandwich is really good and we got a churro and Brian got a hot dog in case you were curious I don't know I just I enjoy eating there so we went to Costco for lunch and we walked around a little bit in there to just check everything out then I filmed a sit-down video which is crazy because I haven't filmed a sit-down video in exactly two years. It's been two years since I filmed a sit-down video. I still get asked to this day to when I'm going to film another one. It is not the labor and delivery story. I'm sorry. That's coming soon. But that video should be up Friday. If I have time to edit it, I should tomorrow. But I don't know. Hopefully. I have a busy week this week. So I filmed a sit-down video, so I used a film script, Coffee Monsters Co. film sticker, which is crazy, but it happened. And then I put in another, like, Grinch-related sticker to mark putting away all of our, like, Black Friday clothes, because I still hadn't put those away. So I put them all away that night and kind of organized the girls' closets a little bit. I figured it'd be nice. 
So then on Saturday, back to work, I put in another food doodle from Coffee Month, nope, from Once More With Love. I put in the coffee again. Gosh, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. And another Starbucks run script to mark that I got Starbucks again that day. And then I put in these little balloons that are from the Fox and Cactus uh, birthday sheet to mark that when I walked into work, into my desk area, Andre and Emily had put balloons up for me, which made me really happy. They were Star Wars ones. I'm keeping them up until they fall down because I just love them and they make me happy. It's like a massive Darth Vader balloon right above my head. It's like a big black cloud. So whenever I like kind of turn sideways, like even the slightest, I get this like weird big black shape in my peripheral vision and I always think someone's right beside me and nope, it's just Darth Vader balloon circling above my head. But I really loved it. It made me really, really happy. And then I used another one of the chicken nugget. I didn't realize that I had Wendy's twice this week. Uh, Chicken nugget coffee doodles because this is when Emily got me Wendy's. Oh, Wendy's is so good. And it's also like the closest fast food, I think, to us at work. It's got to be. It's really close. And then I put in another little Max because he's like my favorite. He's so cute. And the planning time script because I did the base for this spread on Saturday. And then I put another one of the cute little squared boxes and a little like present munchkin from One Star With Love because I got my card and my present from my mom or my parents, I guess you should say, um, that night, which made me really happy. It was so nice. And then Sunday was my birthday. I have to say this is probably one of the best birthdays I've had in a while. I just felt like really spoiled in the sense that I was spoiled with food and love and I don't know. I just felt like really good. It was just a good birthday in general. So I used one of the Fox and Cactus Girls. I also used the green half box because I really liked the green in this spread. Like there's a lot of pink, but the little pops of green made me really happy. So I used the green half box, the Fox and Cactus Girl, and then a happy birthday script. I thought it was so cute. And then I put in one of the little baby munchkins from Once More With Love because I woke up uh, probably like 30 minutes before my alarm and Brian was awake and he just kind of like scooped up Reagan and like laid her in my arms and I cuddled her and she was like sleeping and it was so nice because she's like an 18 pound weighted blanket of like love and cuddles and she still smells so much like a baby like she smells so good so it was like the perfect morning of just pure baby cuddles it's like all I wanted so that was a great morning and then I had a Starbucks before work so again I used the same coffee doodle with the Starbucks run script kind of have like the same vision throughout the week you get what I'm saying so I used that and then I put in another one of the cute little squared boxes I really like them I'm telling you like Andrea was like you're really gonna like them and I was like I don't know and that happens with everything she's like you're really gonna like this and I'm always hesitant and I'm always on the defense and then I end up being like this is my best my best work this is my best work. I love this. So I love those squared boxes. They're super cute. So I used another one of those with like the friend munchkins to mark that Emily got me Tiff's treats for my birthday. It's a cookie delivery and like I just love food. So like when people get me food, it makes me really happy. So I put that in. I got some cookies. I still have them at work. I've been eating like three or four a day, which is really not good, but they're so delicious. I finished the chocolate chip ones today no regrets they were just so good and then nick called me like halfway through the day and was like hey what do you want for lunch and it really got me caught off guard i was like i don't know what i want for lunch i'm scared like i packed a frozen pizza i'm scared um so i had to like quick think on my feet what i wanted for my birthday lunch and andrea has been talking about red robin salads for the past like month it feels like so it's all i've been thinking about so i was like get me one of them salads because i love them as well and I would love to eat one so I put in a little like icon from the magenta sheet because I got my red robin crispy chicken tender salad and it's so good I used to get that all the time when I lived in North Carolina because it was right next to my work I love that salad so I had that as my birthday lunch with some cookies very happy about that so I put that in again with that icon very cute and then moving into the extender so after work because I I did go to work on my birthday because I took Friday off but it was fine because I had like a very chill day at work because I was done with those restocks um so next I put in a little sushi uh, food doodle from once more with love because I really wanted a Zion sushi for my birthday there's a Zion in North Austin but they don't serve sushi anymore 
Um, they just serve like noodles, but the sushi or the Zion at the Domain has sushi, if that makes any sense to any of you. So I asked for that for my birthday. So I had sushi over at Andre and Nick's house. It was so good. It made me so happy. And then I put another one of the Fox and, Cactus, Fox and Cactus stickers in with the Eat All the Cake script. All of these like birthday related scripts are from the birthday sheet from SPC because Andre got a Friendly's cake, a Friendly's ice cream cake, and it was so good. I feel like I could buy one of those and just eat one like throughout the week because they're just so good. And then I put in a little, again, Fox and Cactus Girl with the Time for Gifts script because I got some presents that made me really happy. I just felt so spoiled and just like, I don't know. I really love my friends. It makes me sad. <laughs> and then I put in a half box with a paper and milk um, like game night related sticker with the game night script because we ha we played Cards Against Humanity, which is like one of my favorite like uh, like I guess party games. I love like those dumb like never have I ever card games and like Cards Against Humanity because they just make me laugh so hard. And this is going to sound so sad, but all I wanted to do for my birthday was just like laugh. Like, I just wanted to have a really good, like, game night and a fun time, and I had it, and I'm very happy about it. And, yeah, now that my birthday is over, I'm a little sad because, like, now I just kind of feel, like, kind of old. I don't know. This might be my last exciting birthday, I guess, until, like, Dirty 30, but, like, my 30th birthday is going to be me probably spent at home, I don't know, punishing my children because they're 10 and six <laughs> i don't know but i hope you guys enjoyed this spread go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already i really think it turned out super super cute i'm just doing the deco and then i do use some of those like whimsical bow decos up top as well not sure if those have been released yet so sorry andrea but they're very cute and they will probably be coming soon if they're not already out but i hope you guys enjoyed like i said hopefully i can get another video up for you friday but until then enjoy this plan with me Enjoy all the Christmas plan with me's and I'll see you guys later.